breaking news. Welcome to today's headlines. Prove IPOG. Maso Brong. CD APC. PDP presidential ticket to Southeast. One is a youth. Okay, you prove IPOB. Maso Brong. So APC. PDP presidential ticket to Southeast. Or says or one is a youth. So my dear listeners, from wherever you're listening from, please stay tuned as I read today's news. The one is a youth council in OYC has challenged the Nigerian government and Nigerians to prove the indigenous people of the Afro Lipop and the movement of the actualization of the sovereign state of the Afra Masob wrong in their quest for secession by voting a president from the Southeast in 2023. The group charged the federal government and Nigerians in general to prove to the Igbo new generation that the Southeast is also also a part of the country by ceding the All Progressives Congress APC and People's Democratic Party PDP presidential ticket to the region. It stated this on Monday in a statement made available to Daily Post by the national president. Comrade Igbo Ayaka Hope Igbo Ayaka. The council said, since after the war beginning, from 1970 up to un- up until now, no Southeasterner has ever become the president of Nigeria, whether military or civilian. It is the magnitude of injustice and marginalization that makes pro Afro groups conclude that they are not part of this of the country. By exactly 2023, it will be 53 years of a successful conspiracy to deny a Southeasterner the opportunity of becoming the president of Nigeria. But this is a golden opportunity for all political stakeholders in Nigeria to prove IPOB and Masol wrong by ceding presidential ticket of both APC, PDP and other frontline political parties to the Southeast. Those who work against justice Fairness and equity have no business talking about Nigerians' unity and peace because any attempt to deny Southeastern APC and PDP presidential ticket is a clear indication of deliberate injustice and unfairness against the Igbo nation and it's capable of disrupting Nigerians' unity. One is a youth restated that the long desired unity of the country could be obtainable through strict adherence to the president of Southeast Extraction 2023 project, describing some of some, describing say as the only possible means of reconciliation and reintegration of every aggrieved pro affront into Nigerian's political project. OIC said Nigeria can regain its path to national coexistence only if those clamoring for the indivisibility of Nigeria as an anthem will also sing the song of justice, fairness, and equity by embracing Nigerian president of Southeast Extraction 2023 as a project of reconciliation, rehabilitation, reintegration, and will reintegrate every aggrieved pro 
be Afrans and other maltreated ethnic nationalities. No man pushes a man and at the same time shows him where to fall. For 53 years, the new generation of Igbo extraction have been pushed, rejected, maltreatment, marginalized. There was this dehumanization that prompted many groups to begin to agitate for secession. Now it is left for political. And religious leaders to prove to prove be affront whether they are wrong or right. Because the two options before Nigerians are here to allow Southeast to be part of Nigeria, with Nigerian President of Southeast Extraction 2023, or allow Southeast not to be part of Nigeria by, by granting the call for self determination. These two options are inevitable in this our digital time. The time of technology, the Nigerian political actors must rise now to resist the repeat of incident that lasted from 1966 to 1970. No country can be prosperous under a violent atmosphere. Nigerian must learn a lesson from the past event. You can't deny the Southeast right for self-determination and at the same time deny them rights to produce. The Nigerian next president accept peace and unity for peace and unity to prevail and the Southeast should for once be given the mantle for leadership in the country. Comrade Igbo Ayaka concluded to my dear listeners. Now we've come to the end of our today's news. Please do drop by at the comment section and let us know what your view is all about. Thank you for listening.